Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I'm going to kind of do a how-to video and to show off some of my products and uh, to let some of the guys that live around me, some of the soldiers that live around me know about the, the NSA store. I'm making these cups for the NSA store and if, you, if you've, uh, you know what that is, you know where it is. So uh, today I'm going to be powder coating some glass, which is not very common in the powder coating community because most of the time you can only do metals. Uh, I have a little trick uh, from Columbia Coatings, which uh, Brian, Brian Talley down there is the one that taught me this. I went down there for one of their uh, coating classes last year and he taught me a lot of good tricks and a lot of awesome stuff that I could take back and put it in my tool bag so I could become a better powder coater. And I've grown from that tremendously. But I've only really been doing the cups, the glass cups, for about the past couple of weeks. I don't know why it never dawned on me how to coat some mugs, how to coat some Pilsner glasses. And I'm going to show you a little bit of what we've been doing. And this is some of the stuff. These are glass Pilsner uh, mugs. And they're really awesome. These logos, and these cups are available at the NSA store, which they don't have them yet, but I'm finishing them up, and they should be there Monday. So uh, go down there and get you some. I'm making them exclusively for them, but I'll do any other design for anyone else. Uh, some of these right here. Uh, so if you look, this is the this is the cup that I powder coated, and this is it before it's powder coated. So it's pretty awesome. So we're just going to get down to it. I'm going to powder coat these a, uh, a corky pink. So it's a translucent pink color. So it's going to look really cool on these. I haven't done a translucent color on a cup yet or on these glass Pilsner cups. Uh, so it's going to be something new. But I'm going to walk you through it and show you how you can do it in your home and garage. Because it's a really good thing and not very, very few people do it out there. And then on top of that, so I powder coat them and then I laser engrave these logos on there. So I can do just about any kind of design, uh, pretty much anything you want, you know, colors to logos. I haven't done multiple colors yet, but that'd be something in the future. Now I've only been doing this for a couple weeks now and really just kind of gotten into it really, really much, a lot this past week with a large order. So what I do is just use these uh, cup stands that I got from Columbia Coatings. I get a lot of my uh, equipment from them, powder coating wise. And then uh, my powder, I primarily use Prismatic. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to it. So the first thing I do is I uh, install it on my cup stand. Put the plug in there to keep powder from getting inside. And if you do get a little powder in there, that's fine. I got a way to uh, get it out really fast and easy so you ain't got to worry about messing your powder up or anything like that. The first thing I do is grab some, or the next thing I do from this is grab a rag, and this is it's a clean rag, it looks dirty, but it's just stained up. But I got some denatured alcohol on here, and I'll kind of wipe it down a little bit. And I did notice that sometimes when I coat, it wasn't thicker, the paint wasn't as thick as I wanted, so I found a way to get around that, especially around this area right here, it was thinning out, but everything else would be real thick. So I found a way to get around that, and actually I just realized what I could do to make that not happen anymore. And it's probably a trick, most of y'all probably already do it to some of your products anyways. Now I don't hot flock these, and I don't like hot flocking. Uh, period you know it changes the color of the powder and uh, sometimes you can get a run or too thick you know and it'll start melting down you get a teardrop effect on hard edges and stuff so uh, the next thing I do is I'll hit it with the blowtorch and that's my trick right there is I get this base kind of hot of course it's gonna get 400 degrees the glass holds up to the uh, temperature of the propane this right here is doing a couple things. It'll burn off any greases or the alcohol I just put on there. Burn off any lint that might have got on there. And I'll get it kind of warm. Not super hot, but I will get that base kind of warm. That's 
it. It's ready to go. So I already got some pork and medium here ready to go, and I shoot a little heavy because when shooting glass, you're going to lose use a little excess powder than normal. So you see how that it's already melting on the bottom. That's because it's pretty hot, and that way I can get real good coverage down there that I normally wouldn't. So I just powder coat up this uh, glass right here, and it's going on smooth, just like stainless steel steel cup or. Uh, any other cup like that, so or any other piece of metal. So I'll get it on real nice and thick and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done and then I'll show you some laser engraved when it's done. And that should do it right there. And the next thing I do is to make sure I didn't get any powder on the inside. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Not all the time does it work out right. Sometimes it goes up under uh, between the all thread and the silicone. And I just take it and then shoot a little layer and it comes all right out. No problem. Then just simply, I walk right over here and put it in the oven. Because it's done, it's ready. Now if you look, I got some other cool stuff in here. Because not only have I done this with just regular base coats, uh, this is my first transparent color that I'm going to do it on. Also got some texture cups in here. Check it out. So if you look here, these are textured uh, black, black, splatter black from Prismatic. And they are looking awesome. I'm going to give them a little longer to cook. And sometimes I'll let them run a little long uh, just to get the powder for sure real good and coated on there, or real good and cured on there. So, uh, I'll be right back, so take care. All right guys, I'm pulling these cups out, and as you can see, they're awesome, and they're super hot. Got my last one. This is the, the texture color. Uh, if you can look, look at this transparent, quirky pink. Isn't that awesome? These are, uh, Splatter black, which is a textured color. These tans are like a cordon tan, but they're similar to a, like a desert sand Cerakote or something. Uh, pretty awesome. Uh, we're gonna get these laser engraved up, and they're gonna be. Hey, thanks everybody for tuning in. I hope you really got something out of this. Uh, how to coat powder or how to powder coat glass. Uh, I hope you can try it out in your business, home, garage, mess around, or actually for business, uh, and have some really great success with it. I know I've started doing it, uh, and it's going on, it's going over pretty well with uh, my customers, and they really like it a lot. Uh, I did just get some cups in, um, so if you need any cups, just hit me up. Also, if you don't mind, please like and share uh, my YouTube channel, I'm going to be posting this on Facebook. Remember, it's armor coating. And if you have any suggestions in the future or something you want to see, uh, see me do, uh, let me know and I'll uh, do a video for you. Thanks. You guys have a great day and we'll see you next time.